Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another exciting beta read. Oh my goodness. This should be amazing. I cannot believe it. So, uh, busy month. Very, very busy month. But we're kicking off this month. Uh, doing pretty well, actually, already getting orders after orders, after orders, after the most busiest October of all time. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we were killing the game, and now I got some more free time, you know, some of these orders are just kind of going in and out at this point. So I've got four manuscripts on my desk right now to beta read, so it's good to, you know, get, stay on my toes and do some video beta reads. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, go ahead, let's get some plugs out of the way. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an author, so pick up some of my books as well. Yamikage, not every star in the night, oh, so scary. Bright, dreadful sun, oh my goodness. I actually just published another book called The Common, um, the Modern Kama Sutra, which is just the funniest thing. But uh, anyways, uh, we're not here to talk about my books, we're here to talk about your books. So I am very exciting, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, in case you haven't seen the channel before, uh, well, this is what this is what we're doing. We're doing uh, video beta reads. Oh my goodness! So uh, as you as you as you guys know, uh, beta reads, Fiverr beta reads, Upwork beta reads, any beta reads can take hours and hours and hours. But these are comp uh, compartmentalized, kind of compressed versions of those. They go very fast, so that's why I asked for one chapter. Very cool. So a uh, huge shout out. One second. To, uh, gotta get my phone here. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I lost your name. <laughs> uh, you messaged me, author messaged me earlier to uh, Janelle, Janelle Theus. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out for Janelle. She is coming out with some awesome books, and let's see what's going on. So, yeah, the way this goes is uh, I don't, I'm looking at this as a reader for the first time, just as a critical reader. Uh, opening it up as if, you know, I just had the book and I was just like, oh, okay. So, I have not glanced ahead, as you guys know. I just kind of just go with the flow here. So, uh, here we go. Chapter one. Uh, oh, yeah, just real quick, a little bit by, by myself. Uh, five star beta reader, ghost writer, editor, uh, now CEO of a publishing company. We're about to do our own <laughs> our first manuscript. Uh, so with that being said, and an author too. So this should be fun. You know, you got I love doing these because you guys get a spectrum of like a lot of, you guys get a lot a person with a lot of different spectrum here. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's let's hang out. Let's see what's going on. Uh, chapter one, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, recommend center, center, uh, alternative font, maybe enlarge it. Uh, Marina, I don't know if that's a chapter titled. No need for the little hyphen right there. That can go. Uh, may, yeah, I'd rather see that centered out. Okay. I'm uh, going forward. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, <laughs> also, my screen is over here. Uh, so if you see me w looking over there, that is why. <laughs> okay, so uh, first sentence, first page, first chapter, first paragraph. Very important. So let's definitely check this out. I tiptoe on my bare feet. I, okay, that's that's already it, so we'll hold that there. Uh, you take it very, very, very slow on this first page. You really want to fire on all cylinders. So right there, that I tiptoe on my bare feet. There's room to elevate character appearance, yes, but at the same time, um, it's a tell. You don't want to start off with a tell right off the bat, um, especially since we got, like, grabbing my clothes, strewn around the dark wood floor. Two things. Number one, evaluate the level of purpose. Like, is this going to be – is this, like, a, a large – important thing to start the novel with aim for aesthetic aim for that overall message that overall symbolicism because uh this you could take this and put it in like a million different stories uh definitely try to fire in all genres you could get some uh, sensory detail if you want in there so we're seeing close let's elevate the main character periods if you're going to open on main character i establishing a first person perspective right off the bat excuse me i got hair in my eye <laughs> Uh, yeah, you definitely want that main character to be elevated. You want the character profile to be right there. And there's some good real estate to do that right right there because he's talking about the clothes. What kind of clothes is she wearing? You, you can add a unique characteristic. Maybe she wears something that's really like solo to her. I've seen that done very well. Um, anyways, yeah, so tiptoe. You know, you could also use an adverb to help there. Uh, dark wood floor. You could elevate setting, make that setting more unique. Uh, I would definitely redo this first sentence. Definitely uh, double check. Um, add some imagery in there, you know, really, really get it popping. So, the dress that was so effective last night is hugging my curves. Now it chokes me in the elastic fabric as I shimmy it up. Interesting. Uh, author describing action, that's good. A lot of authors have trouble with that. So, she's shimmying it up. Very interesting. Uh, so I would also offer, um, so we got this presentation here. This is probably not how the novel is going to look after editing, but as it stands right now, uh, you guys have seen it on the channel. 
Uh, now I'm calling these cheeseburger paragraphs. Uh, we're starting off this novel with a, a sandwich paragraph, which is these three sentences right here. And if you notice right below, there's a little bit of something what I would call the cheeseburger. And yeah, that healthy five sentences. I would like to see these from a presentation standpoint combined. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'd like a nice opening narrative. Uh, double check your subject. There's a lot of really good paragraph templates out there that could help. Because, uh, you know, this first is kind of like irrelevant. A lot of irrelevant material. You want to open up strong. You don't want to open up an, on ambiguity. Ambiguity. The man sleeping in the bed has his arms draped over his face. Freeze. Freeze. We take this slow. We take the first page very slow. Excuse me. I got something in my eye. Oh my goodness. That was happening yesterday, dude. Oh, I was, I was giving lessons and I'm like, oh, what's in my eye? Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, so the man sleeping. What kind of man is this? Who is this man? You know, who, what, when, where, why? Always be answering this question. So what is this man doing? What does he look like? Um, so navy navy blanket is something that's pretty interesting. So if there if it's a plot moving object or if it's an object that has something something to do with the plot, it should be detailed. The main character should be elevated. Same before we bring in these other characters, especially with first person perspective. I'd like to see that main character, the person we want to fall in love with, uh, definitely be the star of the show. Okay, uh, keep her in the spotlight, ladies and gentlemen. We want to love our characters. We want love at first sight. We don't want to like our characters. We want to love them. Uh, so we're already speeding past her and spending time with some dude that I don't know. <laughs> uh oh, another 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 one of those nights. Uh, okay, so he his chest rises. You know, describe this character. What does he look like? Because already this is this is something we're opening up on silhouette characters, silhouette characters, which are kind of just like characters that are <laughs> just silhouettes. You don't they, they don't have anything you know recognizable about them yet, especially as they're being brought in. So we start with that main character, and we're already going to another character, and that main character is not elevated. And there's a lot of good opportunity to do that, too. So, I mean, we got the sandwich. Add a nice two sentences right there. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Uh, and for the overall message, I love being able to discern the genre by the first page. I love that. Uh, also, let's get a reasonable setting in there. So we got studio apartment, which is pretty nice, but that can be very elevated. Uh, you want that. You also... Uh, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, <laughs> in the other video, I described uh, ambiguous settings. is like that one scene in The Matrix where everything's just like all white. <laughs> They're just like in this giant white room. Uh, so just make sure your settings, ladies and gentlemen, are not that giant white room uh, in The Matrix. Uh, if you guys have ever seen that movie, which I'm sure you have, and then guns start flying out of nowhere. <laughs> it's, it, was, it was great. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we want to make sure that our settings are not like that. And we actually had one chapter today, so this should go by pretty fast. Uh, usually this end up, these end up being like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, looks like today we might be able to get it under 20. Uh, but yes, let's allot the, the proper period of time. We're trying to help the authors here, ladies and gentlemen, and lift them up. So with that being said, you know, take it slow. Open spaces, studio apartment. Here's your first setting. Nail it. Nail it. Nail it. Uh, yeah, a lot, you know, setting is very important. You could also, you know, let's try to double check and see if we can help it complement the story as well. Because uh, let's, let's take a look at it this way. Uh, a studio apartment where somebody lives, you know, obviously. <laughs> uh, the main character, let's say the, the main character lives there. You could say something about that setting, and that setting could reveal something about the main character. So that's something you could double check. That's, this is one of the reasons why settings should be so elevated and given that proper attention. So double check. Dull light being filtered to the clouds. That's pretty nice. Like that. It's really, see, like that's okay, but, you know, let's open that up a little bit more. My head pounds as I bend over, picking up my shoe. That can go. That's not necessary. Um, built for seduction, not silence. The cherry red. Okay, that's good. That's good. The cherry red's a little toxic. You know, I actually redact it. My head pounds to bend over, pick up my shoe. Uh, yeah, I, no, actually, I <laughs> redact the redaction. No, I'll take that out. Uh, but the ne the next one is really nice. Cherry red stilettos. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Uh, so look, at, re refer to that. Refer to that, because that is a that is a level of description that we don't see too often. Um, so with that being said, yeah, keep that going. A pair of men's jeans that crumple to the side. You know, how can you take that that vivid specifics are better with detail? Uh, so like notice how it's cherry red, you know, you, somebody could just say the red heel, you know what I mean? But the author was, she elevated it and went to cherry red and stiletto, you know, getting specifics, ladies and gentlemen, especially with sensory detail, you know, specifics, very important. Okay. Uh, the pair of men's jeans, a bit of crime, insert in the pockets. Interesting. Brown leather wallet. Uh, st I grab a 20 and a 10. Stuffing in my phone. She's stealing? <laughs> she a thief? Oh my goodness. Uh, just a tiny black thing. It was enough for my phone. Lip chap and switchblade. What the? Dude, this girl is crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Shoes in hand. I head to the door. 
Okay, so we're describing uh, that's someone that's somewhat presenting tension. That's a little bit of presenting tension in there. I'm looking for the inciting incident, but I like how that little description, that paragraph that is right there is nice. It actually says a lot about her personality. Um, really cool through subtext. So shoes in hand, I head to the door, twist the gold knob, and wincing in the event it creaks. Uh, wincing in the event. Hmm. I don't know. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, maybe a, a nice transition out here. Uh, I would also lower your margins a little bit, but that's that's here or there. Um, anyways, yeah, I would redo this first page. Uh, I think the shining light is this uh, My Head Pounds paragraph. That could be reformatted too. Watch the telling, not showing. Reduce ambiguity. And uh, yeah, let's elevate these characters, you know? Uh-oh. Okay, so first dialogue, ladies and gentlemen, similar to first line in a movie. Front door open, robotic uh, female says. Uh, double check your, your first dialogue. Something to always kind of like just double check, make sure it's getting that nice big picture in there. You know, serving a proper purpose. What I like here is how it's a robotic female. You know, what is that? Are we going to brush up with sci-fi a little bit? You know, the goal of sci-fi is to make the foreign feel familiar. So we definitely want to double check. Ah, cringe. Ten, the man sitting up, rubbing a hand over his face. You know, describe this guy. You know, like, who is this guy? Oh, my goodness. Uh, he blinks twice, the color left behind, coffee stains on the wet tile. Skip, okay. All right, uh, here comes the slew of dialogue. What I'm seeing here are the onion chops. Onion, onion chops. <laughs> uh, if I've done a beta read for you guys in the past, you know, like, these usually do not sit well with me. Uh, but sometimes they're done. Like, what I, what I look for when I receive a manuscript and it's got these onion chops, I look for the author's ability to be able to elevate dialogue and elevate dialogue tags, at least be able to, at least so I can know that they know how to do it. And then once I can see that they know how to do it, at least, and then the onion chops start coming up, I don't worry about them. Uh, so right here, we got the onion chops. The smile spreads across his face. You're seeing it. That's that rapid back and forth, the ping pong dialogue. Uh, no, I say quickly, too quickly. See, that's a tell. You don't need that there. Too quickly can go. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot that could be pulled back here. The man raises his dark eyebrows. Really? You know, what are these people's names? You know, get the name in there. Get the main <laughs> the main character's name in there. Uh, really, he pointed, looks at his shoes dangling from my fingers. I stare back, listening. Uh, listen, uh, uh, listen, ah, uh, can go, ah, uh, can go. Ah, uh, shit, what is his name? Ah, uh, the main character doesn't even know. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Oh, one of those nights, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Uh, the name is Cyrus. <laughs> I'm just going to give him a country accent. Name is Cyrus, deep and throaty. The name is Cyrus. <laughs> uh, I knew that. Sure you did. As soon as it's fine, we had a lot to drink last night. Yep, yep. So it looks like we got some romance in the mix. Is this going to be a big, big overall romance? I'm thinking so. It's got the indications of genre right here, which is what I like. Um... I, I, I can already tell I think I'm going to like the main character. I need her. I need the character profile elevated, though, a lot. Uh, definitely in order to fall in love. Okay, so let's get that love at first sight feel there. Memories fly around in the mind, fluttering in bits and pieces, loud music. Uh, describe sensory detail. Specifics are better. The red cherry stilettos. That was such a good description. Take that level of description and get it all over the place. Oh, my goodness. Beer, glass, and jug in the middle of the middle of wooden table. The man with a great smile. Uh, memories fly around in my mind. There, I usually don't actually, I actually don't recommend, I'm not a fan of dinkuses at all, actually. But, uh, right here, you could add a dinkus technically, because she's going a flashback to dinkuses as a show at a specific passage of time. So, now we're going back, uh, over here. If you had a dinkus, you could make it crystal clear. Uh, this is not necessarily a transitory narrative. Yeah. But let's double check. Put your glasses and jug in the middle of the wooden table. And the man with a great smile. A smile flashes across it. Like, so now we're, it's like we're already being like <laughs> kind of thrown in the wind uh, a little bit. So double check. Uh, you know, elevate. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Uh, yeah, I smirk. So what's my name? Uh, Cyrus stares at me for a second. A marina, of course. Oh, that's nice. Nice and oceany. The marina. He watches my face as a surprise. Must look. He grins. The marina, the mermaid. He grins by displaying dimples. Hmm. Uh, I mean, let's, I don't know, I'm hoping this is going to elevate the plot soon. Uh, you know, these, these, re these first few pages, you really pick apart meticulously. Uh, you want to spend a lot of time with it. So, take it slow, burst of images come back to me like that's a tell. You don't need that there. Cyrus playing his hand over my arm and his shoulder. You know, get into the, the, that cherry red stiletto where you take like a, something that could just be as simple as a red heel and then you elevate it with specifics. Get into that habit. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about. I know the author knows how to do that now, so I'm going to hold them to that standard. Uh, which is what I do with all the, everybody, yeah. Uh, you're like Ariel with your red hair. He smiles, that killer smile. Like, how does that smile look? 
like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> that I just saw the show, uh, his smile might be different than this guy's smile. Uh, the corners of my mouth lift. It was gaze across the cup from the room. The shared memories between us until it snaps. Uh, the shared memory structures between us. How does that? Uh, so she, this is first person perspective. That requires telepathy. <laughs> so with that being said, you, you don't want to break in the third person limited. You want to stay with first person perspective. So she doesn't know uh, if this guy's thinking that. Um, you know, let's show it through the dialogue a little bit. So you can actually just eliminate that. Uh, listen, I have to go meet my sister. Okay, uh, sister, name of the title. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Uh, let's see. I'm excited to meet the sister. I want that to be in the spotlight. I want the two, I want two lovable characters is what I'm looking for here. Uh, and definitely a lot of character development. All of this, this is what, that's what my eyes are on. Uh, let's have to go meet your sister. I thought this was the screen, correct? It's besides the other elements that are, uh, need some elevation. Shit, you know, that can go. There's no need for that. It's, uh, <laughs> I comment on this all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, swears, I redact them not necessarily for the shock factor. That's that we don't really do that too much anymore. Uh, but when we we're redacting it because of filler words, glue words, we don't need them in there. Is it going to serve a purpose? I don't think so. Uh, so no need for that. Ele aim for uh, elevated dialogue. No, I'm fine. Thanks, though. Like, watch the double check. Use dialogue with purpose to elevate setting, character development, plot movement. Uh, you want everything to be monster. Like, do you need a riot? Technically, does that? No, I'm fine. Yes, but double check. This guy is too nice. A heartbreaker for sure. Cyrus rubs the stubble along his can I see you again? Not a chance. I could fall for you. Hard. Uh, take that out. <laughs> uh, no need for that. Um, a protection surrounds me. Like that could go. Um, that's the tell not show. The remember pain that sticks in my phone. Tries to see by the images of various men flicking my mind. Hmm. Huh. Very ambiguous. Yeah. Looking for specific. So what I'm looking for now is the inciting incident. Uh, definitely, I keep my, my my eyes on the prize a little bit here. So that's what I'm aiming at here. Looking for the sister and the inciting incident. Uh, we already got the main introduced, but I would f I would redact a lot of this and really put the main character in the spotlight. Elevate that setting. You know, focus on those literary elements. There's a lot bogging things down. Uh, so double check. There's a lot that we can pull it back. Uh, the muscles along his defined torso tout under the fluid movement like that. Uh, what is that really saying? You know, like what is that contributing? Uh, I show my eyes over him. Drinking him in as he advances, he stands in front of him. Let me give you my number. He holds out his hand. His scent wash is great. Okay, pause. <laughs> Sensory detail can be put here. Like, okay, uh, the breath smells like summer nights. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, great. So author can describe sensory detail well. That's good. Very, very good. Love that. So, um, man, I just got four manuscripts on my desk the other day. And uh, wow, one of those authors are describing sensory so beautifully. And I like the fact that this author could do it. A lot of authors have a big, big trouble with that. They have big trouble with that. And when I see an author able to do it this well... I want to hold them to that standard every time because it's just great. Uh, so the sun washes over me, breath of small summer nights. Wonderful. Love that. Uh, smeared over the glass. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, my lanta. I clear my throat. Sure. And open my contacts, handing him the phone. I'm going to give her a number. And if it called, I would go to China's <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's good to my building. He has my phone back. The intimacy hangs up in the air. Like a lot of this isn't necessary. We get it to one night stand. You know, that could be said in one sentence. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a lot like kind of heavy weight that doesn't need to be here. Um, a lot of filler, a lot of glue that can go. I glance in the out. I have to go. All right. He trails. <laughs> see you later. Hey, see you. Uh, I force myself to turn and walk the corner. Once I reach safety the other side, I let out a breath. <sighs> I love her personality. It really shines through the subtext. I want a nice appearance to match that. That's what I really want to see is that a beautiful descriptive appearance because it's like I, 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 re I can already love her personality. She's cool. She, uh, wow, I like her. Oh, my goodness. Man, I need, we need that personality to accompany that because it's like, it's like trying to write with one arm uh, when, you have that, when you have that nice personality but you don't know what they look like or even their character profile. You need to focus. Uh, this is introduction. Intr know the purposes of the landmarks, people. Uh, introduction for introducing and not necessarily for describing, bringing people back to a place they've never been. You know, know the elements of the introduction before you move into the inciting incident. Like, and I'm wondering if this character, this character is even going to be part of the novel in the long run. We'll double check. Uh, I only get the first chapter. I only asked for the first chapter, which is a good idea. Uh, the other one I did was three chapters long. I, I don't know why. Um, oh, yeah, because it was super short. I was like, what? Uh, phone beeps, you know, like, here, these are good tiny real estate to elevate with sensory detail. Harper, where are you? Uh, CMS, Chicago Manual Style, is uh, basically the standard for all different types of things. They do not, it's so funny, they don't have... Uh, 
um, a standard template for text messages, but they have a recommended one, and it's so funny. So like, uh, with CMS recommends for emails and text messages, it's really it's really interesting. Uh, so what it is, it's uh, you would put. Let me try to. Maybe I could write it out here. Uh, it would be something like this. I have actually never written on somebody's manuscript. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but anyways, so what would happen is uh, you would have where are you, kind of where I swipe it is. And then you would put on the way kind of where in the morning air is. So it's kind of like a left, right uh, margin hop. So <laughs> it's really cool. Anyways, yeah. So I looked that up one day because I've got i I've had so many manuscripts where it was messages and emails. And I'm like, how does CMS, you know, tell us to do this? And uh, it turns out that they, there's no official one. So maybe they'll come up with one. But they have that recommended one. And it, it, when it plays, it plays so cool. I dash outside the building in the morning air. Okay, describing movement. Nice. Shiver. Okay, so we're in winter. Nice. Uh, or a, a very cold place. <laughs> uh, dogs in a pile of overflowing trash cans. A step of the curve. Like, double check if that's important. You know, double check if these things are important. Uh, make sure you're not using a valuable page space f for what sh uh, should be there. Like, we don't have an elevated character profile at all. All we know is that she has a sister and that she has a affinity <laughs> from one night stands and stealing. Uh, so, like, basically boil things down to, like, just one... One, boil, boil things down to their simple concepts and build around them because there's a lot of fluff. Uh, a vehicle honks, followed by yelling, yellow cats here, yeah, sit back. Jack's dying on fifth. I rub my eyes. Okay, but you get some voice. Like, right there's a great opportunity to get some voice. Uh, I rub my eyes. You know, what kind of eyes does she have? You know, is it blue, green, <laughs> um, purple, red? I'm just kidding. A moment later, uh, stops the curve in front of the diner. Interesting, interesting. Glowing numbers. Indicate nine dollars and sixty. Oh, inflation nowadays. <laughs> oh my. Oh right. Okay, so male driver looking at the mayor. Near my eyes. So this this is technically a character being brought in, being brought in here. I would give her a car, uh, just for the lieu of the fact that I don't want. Uh, well, I personally wouldn't want another uh, just random side character just flying in here, especially before the sister. Uh, so I would take out male driver. Uh, maybe just have it take the bus or something. I don't know. Uh, or get a car. Um, but maybe she doesn't have a car. I don't know. But uh, no need for that. Uh, for that unnecessary character in there. Uh, I find Harper sitting in the booth besides that. Don't look. Okay. Uh, sister is sistra. Oh my goodness, sistra. Uh, maybe that's some like jargon or something. She doesn't answer. Her scout and her inky are sparking anger. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when usually just by hereditary default, when you describe a, char a character's family member. Great opportunity to kind of really play off each other because obviously uh, a dad will share characteristics with a son, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so with that being said, this is really cool because you can do a lot of really fun stuff with sisters, especially if they're both going to be characters in the novel. There's a lot of really fun things you could do there. I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. But uh, definitely make sure the character profiles are in place. Make sure the necessary elements are there. Um, get those, get know the boring stuff uh, before you, uh, you know, cover it and uh, things that don't need to be there. Uh, no, no, I'm late. I've noticed, you know, when authors know what they're aiming for, then a lot of that stuff falls apart. Um, all of that unnecessary things just kind of fly off the side, and then the emphasis is placed on what needs to be there. I picked up plastic manner, read the towels, moods over Miami, scrambler, blam, set. Okay, author knows how to stylize. Uh, italics used to show internal dialogue. Uh, yep, there you go. That's properly used. A lot of people use it to stylize. Totally okay, totally okay. Uh, double check. I see you wearing the same clothes from last night. Freeze. Golden opportunity to uh, elevate character appearance and profile. We're at the 23-minute mark. I'm going to try to kind of fly through this. Proportion food. My stomach growls and the thoughts of, mmm. Harper turns her phone to me, displaying a picture of a selfie. Uh, man, uh, this is so important. This is like, uh, we have the, the attention on a lot of something that doesn't necessarily need to be. That, that sh the sisters need to be on the spotlight. So now for the, we're seeing the other sister. So the same concept. We want love at first sight. I want to be able to see this character. I want to be able to know about this character. Uh, a lot of this dialogue could be spent, you know, talking about something grandiose, something big picture as opposed to uh, this micro. So with that being said, I want that, that sister to get in there and to be elevated. I want a, a beautiful description. Uh, wonderful, like a wonderful description. And he, maybe we might get one right here. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's a waitress. No, 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 no. Don't, I want to bring in more characters. Uh, so we're, we're still in the, we got five characters. Cyrus, sisters, cabbie, and waitress. 
Uh, if I get if we get one more, I would say I would send it back and say you know, uh, take these characters out. So I would recommend taking Taxi Driver and Waitress out in lieu of elevating when, uh, the important characters. They need to be in the spotlight. They are the star of the show. So you know, kind of maybe uh, reevaluate, reassess, and rewrite, redraft. She pours dark liquid into the mug. Oh, um, you know, author can describe sensory detail pretty well. We've seen it in the past. Uh, maybe some smell. Uh, printed. Maybe some taste. Underneath the silhouette. Mm. Like the pancakes are getting more descriptions than the main character. Double check. Uh, yeah. Like this this diner menu has gotten more. Uh, so you know, I'm I'm not trying to pry there, but uh, it's just kind of funny. Uh, yes, Harper pointed to me. So Harper, last name. Last name is part of the character profile. I mean, I would love to see some maybe revealed in an f- uh, interesting way, or maybe the wait. Oh, here's another thing you could do. Maybe the waitress knows these characters. Maybe they're like familiars, and then you could bounce things. That gives the waitress more relevance and gives her a purpose, uh, as opposed to you know, hey, you want food? <laughs> um, yes, let us. There's some good stuff happening here, but double check your dialogue too. I would kind of stray away from the onion chops uh, I would use the die like I'll have the double stacks like that's not important uh, use that valuable page space to elevate the important concepts um, especially during this first part let's see Harper says I'm assuming you want to go in the first place then we'll head to bombs after okay I'm hoping the mom can help us out here uh, tightness constricts inside my stomach the mention of our mother okay all right so here it is this could be the inciting incident very very exciting maybe they go see mother and mother tells them to do something I'm excited for that. Inciting incident is what kicks off the plot at large, and I'm excited to see. Well, I don't. I'm not, I don't have the manuscript, but uh, but maybe it should be fun. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a good time. Fine, I say that could be elevated. There's no need for this. Uh, you can either if it's you can either elevate it, make it beautiful, and have a like a strong purpose, or redact it. Everything should have a purpose. Like so, if you're looking down, like double check if everything has a purpose. Um, a glance at the group of teenagers slept in the booth. One is dumping sugar from a pack in a month. You're ruining a good cup of coffee. One second, sorry, scrolling, scrolling. Do 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 do. One is dumping sugar, hoping to get. It's been eight days since her number was disconnected. Worry emanates. Oh, oh, that's a turn. I like that. So maybe something bad can happen. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, tension presented usually for the rising action, but I like it. I like the potentiality for tension there. Pretty cool. Uh, we forget about her problems. Uh, this is the last page. Oh my goodness. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of stuck there. Let me try to scroll this up a little bit. Uh, move that upward. Uh, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Technology nowadays. I know. See, like that. That doesn't need to be there. Um, it's been eight days, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm. Li- I think I'm gonna like the sister more. Maybe. I like the main character's kind of style. <laughs> she reminds me of, uh, there's an episode of Seinfeld <laughs> with, with a character just like this. It's so funny. And they go to a diner, too. Oh, my goodness. That's so funny. Yeah, so in Seinfeld, I think it's George. Uh, he's on the train, and he meets the, the woman for the one-night stand. But instead, she, uh, he, <laughs> she handcuffs him to the bed and takes the money out of his wallet. Man, oh, my goodness. That, I'm going to picture that lady as this character. Because we have a silhouette character in our hands. Uh, that's one of the big things I would leave uh, for the author. And here we go. That's the end of the story. Very good. So, yeah, double check your tells. Double check your tells. Know how to elevate your settings. Get the focus on what needs to be there, those literary elements. Um, A lot of uh, uh, unnecessary things, but there's some great descriptions. And the fact that I've seen these golden descriptions in the mix, kind of like golden nuggets amidst amidst, uh, some some, dirt and water (laughs) or whatever. Uh, It's kind of like sifting. That's what what I've I've been doing here is uh, I've been sifting and I'm letting the water and the the sand kind of fall out. And I've seen some great golden little specks here. So double check, uh, find those, uh, you know, and the, this is one of those novels where it has to be love at first sight. Those, those, these two main characters need to be the star of the show. So, you know, put everything on a scale, you know, really just, you can even look at the word count too, uh, to really just really kind of grasp it, you know, how, how many words have been used to describe the main, how many filler words are there? Not even uh, descriptive words of other things is how many filler words. Uh, you can even just start there with the filler words. That's kind of like the water going to fall out, but uh, it's, it's being outweighed. Uh, so with that being said, a lot of good stuff happening here. A lot of good potential. Uh, she's got a nice personality. So with that being said, good luck with the redrafts. Get that focus on those literary elements. Uh, in terms of presentation, uh, we'll definitely elevate the setting. I would, I would pull back on the onion chops. Um, it looks like we are in Ariel 15 here. It's Ariel 15. 
is uh, Arial font and then font size 15. Opt for Times New Roman 12. Uh, and then let you know. Then once you start redrafting, because it's it's the presentation's a little bit off. That, I always want to receive a manuscript with Times New Roman 12. Uh, it just looks more professional as well. Um, a lot of unnecessary dialogue. So double check that. Aim for you know purposeful dialogue. But uh, with that being said, a lot of good stuff happened here. The good potentiality. So have a good one. Like, subscribe, and ladies and gentlemen, keep on writing. Get those 500. Get those thousand words in here today. And I'm gonna start doing. Uh, a 60,000 word edit and four beta reads. This should be fun. All right, see you guys.